Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today, like I said in my previous video, we're going to be comparing this DVOM that I just recently received from Cronova. We're going to be comparing its accuracy to a lower quality Harbor Freight one, to another medium quality, medium priced one, to your higher end, uh, higher priced Fluke. And I'm just going to be doing a simple test, just uh, measuring volts on a 9 volt battery. Uh, and just kind of discussing cat differences and stuff like that and kind of the price differences and quality difference that you're going to see here. So this is going to range I believe five to ten dollars at Harbor Freight or you can get it for free with a coupon uh, depending on the time of the month I believe. This Cronova is going to be thirty or twenty dollars I'm sorry and it's going to include alligator clips and uh, it also has, I believe I forgot to mention in the last video, a kickstand and a part on the back that holds your test leads. Um, but other than that, I'll get into more information. This is the Vici or Vicky, I don't know, VICI VC97. This is going to run $30. And then the Fluke 115, which is going to run $150. So you kind of have a full price range here and quality difference free to ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars hundred fifty dollars i know there's quite a big jump there but fluke that's what they're known for um, and these are kind of your amazon specials and then your harbor freight special <laughs> so just a simple test on a nine volt battery today but getting into the cat system uh, so when you get a dvom you're going to see it's going to have a cat reading now most Focus. This is a cat two. This is a cat three, cat two, cat three. Um, can't remember cat. Hybrid vehicles are either cat three or cat four. I, I believe I want to say cat four. Can't remember for sure. I don't work on hybrids. If any of you guys are hybrid certified, please let me know. Is it cat four that you have to have uh, in order to do a lot of work on there, or is it cat three? But other than that, uh, the CAT system is basically how you're going to gauge the type of work that you're going to be measuring uh, with. A CAT 2 is going to be your lowest uh, CAT. It's basically going to be for like your household appliances, small appliances, uh, power tools, and little stuff like that. You can get away with using this on your standard vehicle for most situations. Uh, both of these would be okay uh, but if you do a fair or a decent amount of work uh, I would just you know get a cat 3 uh, I just feel like a cat 3 is a good all around you know base unit to do basically all the work that you need to unless you're an, an electrician which obviously you're not going to have these you're going to have a higher end fluke or something similar that can really handle that type of work. This I would say is for your DIYer that doesn't really ever do much work at all uh, and doesn't really have the means or want to go out and spend money on a DVOM that they're really not going to use. But if you just want something for around the house just in case you do need it one day, this would save you a lot of money. <laughs> but for something like this, it's only going to run you, like I said, $20, and that's a Cat 3, and I believe it would be good for DIYers and those technicians or mechanics out there that just do a standard amount of work, uh, and obviously not hybrid work. Whereas if you do do hybrid work, you're gonna have a higher quality one anyways. And then this being Cat 2, this is still actually a really good DVOM. I use it on my cars all the time. Uh, this is actually my main one that I used before I got my Fluke. And the Fluke obviously being for your professional use. Not that a DIYer can't have it. DIYers can have it. Uh, it is just a little bit more expensive and uh, is, you know, made for everyday use. So Cat 2, like I was saying, is household appliances and power tools and stuff like that. Uh, Cat 3, which is going to be these three, are going to be for, you know, lighting, circuit breakers, bus bars, you know, a little bit higher end electrical work. And then Cat 4 is going to be like the origin of power, where the power is coming from, uh, electricity meters, service drop downs from poles to a building, 
uh, the meter or the lines to the meter and stuff like that where the power is much higher and you're going to need something uh, that's rated for that. So I don't have a Cat 4, I don't have any work that I do that requires Cat 4, so I believe a Cat 3 is good for your all-around basic work as a uh, automotive technician. But please, let me know your guys' thoughts. That's just my personal thought. Um, but anyways, let's quickly get into reading this 9-volt battery and see what the, you know, how they compare. So on the Harbor Freight one, you're not gonna have an auto range, whereas all these other ones have an auto range. You set it to uh, volts and it will narrow it down to an accurate range. Whereas this, you have to select, you know, are you measuring something up to 20 volts, up to 200 volts, or up to 1,000 volts? And if it's under 20, then you select 20, so you get a more accurate reading. Or if it's 100 volts, you would select the 200 just to get a more accurate reading, whereas these would automatically uh, condense it down and give you a more accurate reading. If I'm forgetting any information that maybe you guys noticed that I didn't mention, please drop it down in the comments for others uh, to read. I always enjoy your guys' comments, so please leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts. So, I already have this set to 20 volts, and then you flip it on. This one does not have a light, so it's not gonna be good for working under dashes or in dark spots. So we're just going to go ahead and get a reading. 9.03. And then the test leads on this are going to be very cheap. Uh, and they literally just say 1,000 volts. And they, I mean, you can tell they're extremely cheap, but hey, the system was free, so <laughs> you can't expect much. These are, uh, this is the $20 multimeter, and we're going to go to volts DC, and we're going to do the same thing. Doesn't really matter, it'll read negative, but. 9.07 So it is nice having an auto range as well Then here we'll go to volts make sure it's on DC You can select AC or DC whereas this one you have to switch it So this is actually a really nice DVOM for the price this one being 20 this one being 30 cat 3 cat 2 keep that in mind 9.04 volts DC you do get a light on these as well nine point zero five I know it's not a very accurate way of doing a test to show you guys but I'm what I'm getting across is that even a cheap DVOM can get the job done depending on the work that you're doing. If you're doing small work at home, a cheap DVOM will be just fine. Now, I believe if you're going cheap, this can still, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot better than this and you're still not spending a lot of money. That's what I'm getting at. And then same with this, this is $30 and uh, still a great DVOM. If you guys want to see a close up of any of these individually, I already did an unboxing of this, but if you would like to see a more in-depth review of this or the Fluke, please let me know. As you can tell, they all read very similar. I know I'm only <laughs> measuring the voltage of a nine volt battery, but I just wanted to give you a quick look and show you that they do all you know, sit in the same range and depending on the work that you do, not very much work, too higher end work, everyday work, uh, that's going to depend. So please let me know your guys' thoughts on your Cheap Harbor Freight one to your Amazon specials, or do you believe that if you're going to be doing any electrical work, you should just go ahead and spend the money and get a fluke? What are your guys' thoughts? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, if you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, 
And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, check out the description below for any tools, car parts, and electrical tools that I suggest. And uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. See you in the next one.